Today we have a special effects video for beginners. I am going to be showing you guys three different types of fake blood and how to use them. So this video I really wanted to make because when I was starting my special effects journey, I had a little bit of trouble navigating the products. They are just so different than beauty products and I wasn't sure what products to use in certain situations, which ones not to use in certain situations. And so I just wanted to hopefully help you guys not make the same mistakes as I did and maybe help you figure out what is worth investing in in your kit and what is not in my opinion. Okay you guys, so the first fake blood that I wanna talk about today is this eye blood, okay? So there are a lot of different eye bloods out there. Just please be aware that this, if you wear contacts or if you have sensitive eyes at all, I don't recommend putting anything like this in your eye, even though like these, this is professional uh, makeup for your eyes and that's totally fine. But if you have problems with your eyes, if you have anything like that, or even if you wear contacts throughout the night, just know that this can stain your contacts. It can totally like, it's just, just, I would stay away. I will show you guys. I am wearing contacts right now, but they're just the one a day ones. And to show you what this looks like, I'm just going to do a couple drops. Like so. So I'm just gonna do one. Let's do another one. Okay, so you can see how this applies to you guys. And it's not very drippy. It's, so it's actually, very thick like I don't know if you guys can see but it's not very 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 liquidy so it's gonna stay in your eye so if you're looking for that like tear down you are gonna have to add like a couple drops to that and just to show you it is definitely sticking around my contact like it just actually my contact just completely absorbed all of this which always happens so just letting you guys know how they perform. I will show you, let's see. I'm gonna take out my contact and then show you guys. Okay, so my contact is out and completely stained, uh, which I knew would happen. I just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> and now I'm gonna show you what that looks like without. Okay, let's see. Hopefully that wasn't too gross for you guys to watch, but. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I have it in, you guys can see. It definitely makes my whole eye red, which depending on what you're looking for, like if you're looking for those vein looks, like my eye is watering already and now it just looks pink. I have my issues with this product, if you guys can't tell. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine for like, uh for a certain look, if you paint like your whole face, I think that it's good. I think that there are better ways, like using contacts if you want your eyes red, but this, to me, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend it. It just doesn't look realistic. So, my next two products. One of them is like the Holy Grail. So these are both Mehron Fake Blood, and you can use like, you can even make your own fake blood if you wanted to with like eyeshadows and water, you know, and a spray bottle. But these things, it's not gonna last as long if you do that. But if you're just new to special effects makeup, one of these is golden. The other one is still good. It's still like for fun. I would use this for like Halloween if I was doing like a beauty glam look, you know, and this is blood splatter. So the reason why I would only use this for like Halloween, I wouldn't use this if I actually wanted to do a realistic look and that's because it's too red. So I will show you guys on my hand right now. Let's see. Okay, so you guys can see that blood splatter right there and it's <laughs> all over. I did not spray this well cause it's like all over my table, but it does not get less red than this. So this is like an orangey red. Also, the consistency of this, yes, it's good for, like, it's just a spray bottle. And if you were going to do this, I would suggest doing it from far away, from further away, because here I'll do, like, close. 
and you guys can see like how that looks. It comes out a lot of product. So, and now from further away, it depends on the look that you're going for. I completely missed, I just hit my table. Okay, and then that's from further away on my hand, on my wrist. So you guys can see how red orange this is. It's still a good product and it's still good to work with. I just think that it's too bright. So for creating super realistic wounds, this, this is the blood for you. This blood, so this is the Mayron Cogulated, Cogulated Blood Gel, it's the gel, okay? It's not the spray, it's the gel. So this is amazing for creating wounds. It's not amazing for like obviously blood on the shirt or anything like this, or uh, if you are working on like a film set or something and you need to put like splatters anywhere, it's not good for that. For, this is the texture of it, so it's like very, very jelly. What I normally do is I put this on my uh, like mixing tray. I just put this on a tray and then I would usually take a spatula. These are actually for cake. So um, another like special effects tip that I absolutely love is that uh, if you just go to like a hobby store or anything, you can get these spatulas and I will show you how these apply. This, this applies like so, so nice. You can also, I mean, you. I guess you could apply this with a brush, but I wouldn't recommend it. And I also don't recommend using this brush that it comes with because I think that you can go so much further than this brush can take you and it can be a little bit frustrating and especially like unhygienic if you're just like, you know, you guys, you know what I mean. So this blood here applies like a dream. So this blood is super deep and dark and with cuts, it looks amazing, like with gashes. And the reason why I love this so much, it is a gel, so it does stay wet. You are gonna get that like shiny, I hope you guys can see this like shiny payoff from there. The only thing though is that it does not like blend well. Like look at how that, you can't like blend this down, you know, for like a, a smudge or anything without it looking fake. So for that, the splatter like technique is better. It's just if you are going for like an open wound or something like that, or this is just, you cannot get better than this Mayron blood gel. I think it's just like amazing. So <laughs> this is great. This is also, this doesn't, translate well on like look look at me and also it's it's very thick so it actually is like pulling at my hair when I'm trying to not that I have like really hairy hands you guys okay so also please keep that in mind when you guys are working with these products keep in mind that this will stain like clothes that you have on if you're working with a client and they're coming in for Halloween and you go in for a blood splatter make sure you're protecting their clothes before you do anything because it will stain your clothes. Even like my hand is stained right now. If I was wearing something white or even anything, just make sure you're protecting your clients always. Or if you're just practicing on yourself, make sure that you're also protecting your clothes because clothes ain't cheap. Uh, but yeah, that's really, I just wanted to showcase these three bloods for you guys because when you're first starting out with special effects, products are really hard to navigate because they're not anything like typical beauty products like eyeshadow. Sure, there are a ton of different formulas for eyeshadow, but it's more or less like either you have liquid or solid or you have this or that, you know? So with blood, it's a little bit different because not only you have like different consistencies, different everything, it's just, it's just different. Okay, you guys, so that's really it. I just wanted to showcase these three fake bloods for you because I feel like when you're first getting into special effects makeup, the products are super hard to navigate because it's all super new. It's not anything like beauty makeup at all. You have like Prosaid, you have your fake bloods, you have latex, you have everything. Like, it's not the same at all. And so I want to kind of like give you a little bit of insight on the products before you're looking at purchasing a lot of them because some of these are really expensive in special effects but if you are getting into special effects that is 
awesome special effects is so cool i am super happy for you super excited for you if you're taking an interest in this it is like a totally different makeup world it's so much fun so yeah i just thank you for letting me be a part of your journey if you enjoyed this video and you felt like it was helpful and informative and you feel like supporting me and my channel, you could give it a big thumbs up for me. You could also hit that big old subscribe button as it does do wonders here on my channel and we won't miss out on each other in the future. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you next time. Bye.